Any good coach or trainer will tell you the importance of staying in touch with your database, with your sphere of influence. The challenge is not staying in touch, it's what to say when you don't know what to say. Well, in this video, I'm gonna help you with that. We're going to eliminate any, anything that's holding you back from saying the right things to your clients at the right time. Hey, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Welcome to this week's episode, and it's compliments of our guest, author, and coach, Neil Mathwag. And he's going to share seven, seven things that you can say when you don't know what to say. Well, here at Agent Inner Circle, it's all about sharing the love and giving you more, under-promising, over-delivering. So I'm going to share with you five more things that you can use so you'll never run into that situation of, what do I say to my clients? Now, the first thing to remember is they don't want to hear about real estate all the time. Can you imagine being at a, a proctologist convention? What do you think they're talking about all the time? Would you want to be in on that conversation? No. And in real estate, when we get together with other realtors, we talk about mortgage rates, uh, saturation of the market, all that kind of stuff, which is important to us. But your average customer doesn't care, especially if they've already bought a home. All right, so the content that you wanna share with them, the conversation that you're gonna have has to be relevant. And there also has to be a frequency. You can't just pick up the phone, call them once a year. It's not like the Easter Bunny making an appearance. There's a frequency and a congruency that you have to do and relevancy to what you have to say. So write this down. Here's a, a four part formula that you can use anywhere, anywhere, even in a conversation. And it starts with, it's an acronym, FORD, F-O-R-D, FORD. It stands for family, organizations, recreation, and dreams. So when you're ever thinking of what do I say to somebody, start off with F for family. People love to talk about their family. Ask them about the kiddies. Are, are they, you know, what's school like? What's going on in their lives? Anybody been married lately? Any new arrivals? Family, people love talking about family. The O stands for organizations. People belong to various clubs. Hey, what's going on at Rotary? I remember you were a member. Or ski clubs or whatever they belong to. Organizations is a biggie. R stands for recreation. People are always doing things. Maybe they're skiers, maybe they're bowlers. Tap into what they love to do. And last but not least, excuse me here as I swallow a mosquito, D stands for dreams. Ask them about their dreams. And I'm not saying the ones that keep them up at night, but what are their aspirations? What are the things they're hoping to do? Maybe it's a, a trip to Italy that they shared with you once upon a time, or you know, we've been planning this family vacation, or we've been thinking about building an addition. Whatever that dream is, that's the stuff that you wanna tap into. Forget about all the real estate stats. So there are four things. And the fifth one, this one has to do with Facebook. Spend some time on Facebook, not lurking, but studying your clients. Go on to Facebook and see what's been happening in their lives. And maybe it is a birthday, maybe it is a special occasion, a wedding or something. But now when you pick up the phone and you engage and say, hey John, it's uh, Michael here from ABC Realty, just thought I'd check in. Hey, by the way, congratulations on fill in the blank and you can find that on Facebook. Now, before you say, Michael, I've got 500 clients, 500 uh, members in my sphere of influence. How do I possibly do that? Well, let's do some math here. 500 divided by 50 weeks, because I'm assuming you take a couple weeks off, is 10 contacts per week. Now, a week, let's say it's five days, that's two. That's two contacts a week. Certainly, you've got time in your busy schedule to jump on Facebook instead of looking at uh, Girls Gone Wild or whatever else that you're playing there, farm wars. Look up those two people, what's happening with them today, pick up the phone, make the call. Make that call because now you're making a personal connection. And here's how it all ties together. People may not remember what you said, they remember how you made them feel. And last but not least, if you want to stay in touch with somebody, again, it's about their frequency, check out our newsletter. Service for Life is created in such a way that it's got compelling content that will engage your sphere of influence. And you know what? It's got little calls to action throughout the newsletter to keep you top of mind. So when they are thinking about real estate, you're the logical choice. So once again, Michael Creasy here, Agent Inner Circle, agentinnercircle.com. Hope you found this helpful. By all means, like, share this video, and leave a comment below.